End-to-end -end test. End-to-end -end test is an approach used for protective schemes that consist of two or more relays that are in connection to exchange information related to trip and blocking. These schemes are used for more accurate detection of faults and fast isolation of the system. This test can be used to thoroughly analyze the protective scheme and make sure of its proper performance. In end-to-end -end tests, two or more test devices are used on each side to stimulate the fault. To successfully perform an end-to-end -end test, the following elements are needed. A test device on each side, a hardware piece to synchronize the two devices like a GPS satellite, a file that is exported from the relay software to be used in the test device. This file can be of CSV, Xtreo, text or other formats. A communication equipment such as a phone or a two-way radio to communicate with the other post. With this introduction, we are going to analyze the software and hardware aspects of a longitudinal differential test on end-to-end -end platform. Hardware preparation. In hardware section, two test devices are needed for performing an end-to-end -end test. Each of these devices need to be equipped with a GPS antenna. After examining the maps and isolating the piece of equipment for the test, the required inputs and outputs should be specified. For example, binary inputs, AMT105 can be used to specify the pickup contact and trip. Binary outputs can be used in cases such as circuit breaker status stimulation. In the next step, the test device voltage and current injection cables should be connected to the relay or test block to replace CT and PT for injecting the desired amounts. The GPS antenna is connected to the back of the device to use the GPS time as the base time. In end-to-end -end tests, it is also possible to use other bases such as IRIG. To make sure that the breaker contact position is properly simulated by the test device, put the breakers in the right position. It should be noted that if other groups are working on the circuit breaker simultaneously, it is necessary to use the test plug to make sure that no trip is going to go on the circuit breaker. Software preparation. In software section, before anything, it is necessary to connect to the relay and save setting and config files as well as the records submitted for event and disturbance somewhere safe so that if there is a problem they can be used as a backup. In the next step export the file needed to enter the test device from the relay. As mentioned before this file can be of different formats such as CSV, text, Xtreo and so on. An example for end-to-end -end tests to analyze longitudinal differential protection. Old longitudinal differential relays use the ratio of differential current to restrain current and if this ratio was higher than the specified settings, the trip was issued while the modern differential protective relays, a characteristic named alpha plane is used. In this design, the vector ratio of remote current to local for every current phase and negative and zero sequence currents are used. Here, to better present the end-to-end -end test method, a longitudinal differential protective test is performed on 7SD610 relays of Siemens company. In this test, 7SD610 relays of Siemens with MLFB as mentioned and version 4.77 firmware is used. In the first step, we are going to review the prerequisites for performing the test described above. After making sure that everything is ready, first Webco AMPro software runs and after ensuring that the laptop is connected to the AMP105, the device IP is entered and the connection is made. Before beginning the test, it is suggested to ensure that the wiring is appropriate by injecting a current as big as 10% of the nominal current and reading the injected values from the relay. This can be done by simply clicking on Test Hardware Config option. Then, the intended current must be specified in Current Output section, Current Injection, Channels are specified and the injection duration is selected. By clicking on the triangle at the top of the screen, the injection will keep going as long as the specified duration. The first part of the end-to-end -end test is related to ensuring stability or in other words, that if equal currents are injected from the two sides or an external fault state, a trip is not issued. To test this state, sequencer room is opened. At this point, the user needs to prepare the conditions for injecting values from both sides. It is possible to do so by selecting hardware configuration and specifying two current groups in current output signal section. Here, the first set is indicated by IL1, IL2 and IL3, which are located in front of X3, X1 and X2 elements, respectively. 
Now the second set is activated in front of Y3, Y1 and Y2. To avoid confusion, it is better to change the values in front of X3, X1 and X2 to not use in voltage output signal section. The intended inputs are activated in binary analog input header. By default, binary input 1 is set on the trip. For example, we set binary 2 for start and type start phrase in front of label. If the user wishes to adjust the output signal for reasons such as specifying the state of the key, they can do so by using the binary output header. Save last actual data option in extra settings section can be used to save the last injection data. Since longitudinal differential test, especially in search section, needs a long time and this can lead to overheating of the device, it is possible to activate maximum fan during test option, so that the fan works at its maximum speed during current injection and avoids overheating of the device and is stopping the test. By clicking on test object parameters and then clicking on device, it is possible to enter information about the test such as the title of the test. The manufacturer company, the relay type, the primary and secondary voltages and some other information that are needed in the report. It should be noted that it is possible to add the information related to the rows at the left side of this window after performing the test, but the information related to the rows on the right side must be specified before initiating the test. In next step, the current value is to be entered in accordance with the differential settings as well as the turns ratio and CT polarity of the sites. For example, suppose that the line current is 100 amperes and the CT conversion ratio of the primary side is 600 to 1, while the turn ratio of the other side is 800 to 1 and the polarity is set at toward protected object for both sides. It is possible to perform mathematical operations in all cells of the Webco software without the need to use a calculator. By entering a value in a cell and right-clicking on it and then selecting equal magnitudes option, it is possible to enter the same value in all cells of a current injection site. Then the same process can be repeated for the other side. Now, since during its stability test, the currents on both sides need to be equal in accordance with the CT turns ratio and have a 180 degree difference. The currents from one side are taken as the bias and a 180 degree difference is considered for currents from the other side. To do so, the current angle of one of the cells is entered and balance angle option is used to apply the angle difference for the other phases. It is possible to view the amount and direction of the current values in vector view window. It should be noted that in signal view window it is possible to view the apply changes instantly. By default, the currents are considered momentary, but it is possible to select average values by selecting setting header and then RMS option. If this stability test is only applied for one phase, it is possible to make the checkbox for the corresponding phase so that only the signals related to the phase are displayed. In the next step, the test start conditions are adjusted. In this section, by selecting the start condition repetition option, a new page opens. In a start test condition section, the third option is related to the coordination of GPS for initiating the test. Start time and next full options are related to the start time of the test and the duration of pause before every injection respectively. If next full option is unchecked, the injections will be done repeatedly and without any pause. In this section, a time should be specified as the test start time in coordination with the other side, which is remote post. Before anything, it is necessary to ensure that the device and the GPS are synchronized by clicking on a start sync option. If the user is using a 32-bit windows, clicking on set window time with GPS option will cause the computer block to be synchronized with the GPS. In data section, it is possible to view the information including the GPS time and latitude and longitude. Also, in satellite signal level and satellite signal level history section, it is possible to view other information related to the power and intensity of the signals received from the GPS. After applying the section by clicking on Start, the test begins at the specified time. By applying these settings, it is possible to start current injection and ensure the stability of the condition. In the end, the file is saved and by selecting Parameters menu and then clicking on Report, 
After selecting the elements that are going to be added to the report, OK option is selected. This will open the report header so that by using the export report option or pressing Ctrl P keys, the report can be printed or saved as a file. It is worth mentioning that if the user is using a PDF management software, it is better for them to use Ctrl P shortcut so that the gap between the pages is removed and the report looks more well organized. In the next page, AMT Differential Room is used to perform the main test. Here, hardware configuration page is opened and the current of the remote site and the other posts are set as not used in output target section. It is also possible to save this combination of current channels by clicking on export option at the bottom of the screen to use it in future tests. Now by clicking on test object parameters option, import from list option, from the file menu or the icon labeled L letter is selected. In this section, by entering the relay name in search box, it is possible to select the Xtrio or Rio corresponding to that relay and the software version. Here, 7SD61 is entered. By double clicking on the related Xtrio file menu and then load relay setting is selected. In Relay Config Type section, the configuration type received from the relay is selected which is different from every brand. In Config File Path section, the path of this file is given to the software. Here we are receiving the extra file using DIGSI4 software of Siemens company. By clicking on OK, it is necessary to enter that the relay parameters are entered correctly by viewing the number located in front of parameter values imported. By clicking on OK and closing the windows, the graph will be entered to the differential characteristic window. Before beginning the test, the test object parameters window is opened again and 7SD610 subcategory is opened by clicking on the plus sign. In Relay Parameters section, it is possible to view the information related to the local relay or the current post in different subcategories. In Subcategory Setting Group A, it is possible to view the setting of different functions. By going to Subcategory 87 Diff Prod, it is possible to examine the activity status of this parameter, time and current settings of pickup and trip, the inrush settings, and the parameter related to the charge of the line. In Relay Parameter section, it is possible to view the information related to the relay of the opposite post. Here, parameters with a green check mark in a state section in front of them are the elements that are active in the relay of the opposite side. In this section, it is possible to receive the information about the relay of the opposite side from the setting file, XML file, or even orally from the operator of the remote post and enter it into the value field. Now, once more, Test Object Parameter is selected and line differential block is opened by double clicking on it. The important point here is that the value entered for primary and secondary in protected object section must be the same in both local and remote posts. Also, these values need to be reviewed especially in CT nominal values section to ensure that the turns ratio are correct. Also, it is possible to view the test status graphically along with the parameters on it by opening medium detail view window from the view menu. After finishing this stage, it is time to perform different tests. To start on GPS option is selected after selecting a start condition repetition. In this section, by clicking on start sync, the satellite signals are detected and the time synchronization is done, which may take up for a few minutes. It should be noted that usually short tests and search tests are performed in this room and the first examines the action or inaction in trip or no trip areas, respectively. And the second test determines the board between tripping and no trip areas by interpolating the points so that the user can have a scale of the curve drawn in this environment as well as the real operation of the relay. In the next step, after coordinating with the opposite side, some points are put on the differential characteristic and after adding them to the test table, it is possible to compare their coordination, which is a combination of eye bias and eye diff, to ensure that the conditions are the same. By clicking on the cog icon at the bottom of the differential characteristic window, it is possible to use the features that help users to better supervise the test. Now by returning to Start Condition tab in On GPS section, 
a time is considered as the start time after coordination with the opposite side, and then by unchecking next full option, whose function has been explained before the time. is saved. By selecting parameters, the report setting window is opened and the parameters that need to be added to the report are selected so that the results can be saved as an app.